now india is a agro based country now agro based means like india is primarily dependent on agriculture so the main uh, production of the crops or the main food what it comes is from the agriculture so it is agro based so majority of our uh, food is actually cultivated that is the grains about 65% of the india are involved with agriculture in some form of the other so since we the country as a whole is mainly dependent on farming or agriculture so majority people's prof uh, profession that is here it is given 65% of the population is mainly busy in cultivating something or the other any form of growing crops cultivation in india is mostly dependent on monsoon we have already studied this before that our agriculture is uh, primarily dependent on the monsoons if the monsoons are very good we have good agricultural uh, crops and uh, the production is good but if the monsoons are bad maybe then we also go uh, for droughts and even the monsoons are over over means like it if it is in monsoons are uh, in more in number or it is in heavy amount that is the rain is in heavy amount what happens then it results in floods so we are uh, we know the adverse effects as well as the positive effects of monsoon and in india the monsoons are not fixed which we have already studied sometimes they are very good sometimes they are very bad so uh, our agriculture uh, rest on the monsoons a, mon a monsoon a monsoonic behavior of uh, india right next is due to vagaries of monsoon farmers take the help of it so here also as the monsoons are not uh, fixed right there is a variation so what happens even uh, so people are always with the aid of uh, uh, irrigation irrigation is the process the artificial way where uh, the water is supplied to the uh, farmlands or the, the fields like ag agricultural fields fine right? now we have the crops grown in india mainly food crops are paddy wheat millet vegetable crops are potato brinjal then beverage beverage crops means they are also known as cash crops also like tea coffee then fiber fibrous crops are cotton jute and other crops are lent, uh, uh, lentils oil seeds rubber and etc okay now there are certain crops that are uh, usually sown at the time of or at the advent of certain kind of seasons so we will study about that though it is not there in the book you don't need to worry i'll supply you with this notes okay but listen to them when i'm in the audio listen to the audio now kharif crops you must have heard is k h a r i f kharif crop now what is it kharif kharif crops are also known as monsoon crops they are sown that means they are actually placed or sown with the advent of monsoon in the southeastern asia they are harvested in the months of autumn that is around or in the season of autumn that is around october the common kharif crops are rice millet maize and the word kharif is came from the Af uh, arabic word autumn okay next we move on to rabi crops r a b i rabi crops what are rabi crops they are mainly known as the winter crops and they are so sown and also harvested during the they are sown in winter and they are harvested in the spring season the common rabi crops are wheat gram and mustard the word rabi also came from the arabic word uh, from uh, which means spring 
Now, Kharif crops are also known as monsoon crops. And I've told you they are sown in the months of June and July. And they are harvested in the months of September and October. Now, there is another crop named Zaid crop. Z-A-I-D-C-R-O-P. Zaid crop. Now, what is it? These crops are sown in the months of February, March. And they are harvested in the months of May and June. Examples are uh, vegetables. Then it is uh, such vegetables such as uh, pointed gourd, bottle gourd, cucumber, etc. They are known as Zaid crops. Fine. Now, in the hilly areas, to prevent soil erosion, a particular method of cultivation is taken up. This is actually known as terrace cultivation. This method of cultivation involves growing crops on the graduated terrace and they are built along the hill slope. So this type of cultivation reduces soil erosion and water loss, but it is very much labor intensive. Labor intensive, lots of labor are required to do such a cultivation. So you re require loads of people for doing this kind of cultivation. It is one of the tedious process of cultivation, but it prevents soil erosion. It also uh, 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 reduces water loss. So this is a best, another tedious method of cultivating uh, land on the hill slopes. I hope you have understood. Now next we move on to page uh, 95 where a particular chart has been given to you like the agriculture crops then you have climate temperature rainfall then soil and the producing states it's given for around 9 crops which are produced in India so this chart itself is quite self explanatory right that what are the temperature and rainfall required and the soil uh, for a particular crop to grow. Now let us start with uh, paddy. Paddy requires 22 to 32 degree centigrade temperature and rainfall is requires a lot because it is around 150 to 300 centimeters of rainfall. And the soil, you know, it has to be allu alluvial uh, loamy soil. Water logging is required. And the states which where it is produced is West Bengal, Assam, Bihar, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka. Next we move on to uh, wheat. Wheat is what kind of a crop? It is a Rabi crop. You must know. So it, uh, temperature is 15 to 20 degree centigrade. Rainfall is 50 to 100. Not much rainfall. And the soil needs to be lime rich loamy soil which improve with improved drainage system paddy water logging is required wheat absolute drainage facility should be there and the uh, producing states are uttar pradesh haryana bihar punjab orissa rajasthan maharashtra jammu and kashmir then you have jawar bajra and ragi now jawar requires temperature 27 to 32 bajra 25 to 28 degree centigrade and ragi 27 to 32. So these crops are all grown at a, uh, together at the same time. And the rainfall more or less is same. Only Jawar requires a bit more rainfall. Rest of the crops have uh, normal rainfall. And it is so uh, usually grown in sandy soil and sandy loamy soil. So these groves are grown in the places desert areas which have less amount of rainfall. So uh, where it is grown Jawar is grown in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Bajra is Rajasthan, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Ragi, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Then we go, go on to lentil. Now lentils are variety of small small pulses or grains. 20 to 30 degree temperature is required. Then rainfall is 50 to 70, uh, 75 centimeter of rainfall and soil is loamy soil and black soil. And producing states are mainly Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, West Bengal, Maharashtra, and Andhra Pradesh. Next is uh, we have uh, sugarcane. 
time a temperature is 25 to 30 centimeter uh, 30 degree centigrade rainfall is 100 to 150 what kind of soil it is mainly improved drainage system with rich loamy soil and producing sister uttar pradesh bihar punjab rajasthan maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu then is you have jute jute requires 28 to 36 degree centigrade rainfall 150 to 200 so it is a cash crop also sugarcane is also a cash crop uh, soil is alluvium clay soil and loamy soil so places are west Bay states so west bengal bihar and orissa then we move on to cotton it is also a cash crop temperature is 20 to 35 degree centigrade rainfall is 50 to 100 centimeters and this uh, soil is improved drainage system with a phosphate and lime rich black soil and places where it is produced Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Punjab and Haryana. Then uh, we move on to tea. Tea is grown in the hilly areas. So 20 to 30 degrees, uh, temp degrees of temperature required. Rainfall 150 to 200. Improved drainage system with sloping land, humus, water and rich loamy soil. And producing states are Assam, West Bengal, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Next, you have coffee. Coffee uh, is also a beverage crop and it requires 18 to 28 degrees centigrade of temperature. Rainfall is 150 to 200. Soil is improved drainage system with humid rich soil. And producing states are Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu.